Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is just going to be a quick get ready with me where you'll be able to see how I usually get ready on a daily basis as well as the products I usually use in terms of makeup and skincare. For this get ready with me video, I'll be also answering your interesting Instagram questions that my followers and friends have asked. If you're interested in finding out more, please stay tuned to keep on watching. Usually the first step that I start off with would be skincare, would be skincare. However, the thing is usually in the mornings I'm very rushed and lazy. So definitely I try to help moisturize my skin, especially considering that my skin is a combination type of skin. So I usually get oily on the T zones. I will skip the skincare process as I'm still quite limited on time, where I'll instead I'll just use a setting spray, which helps to moisturize the skin as well as set the skin for makeup. So the setting spray that I usually use on quite a daily basis would be the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. This setting spray is quite useful. I actually recently bought it and I really love the peach scent. So what I usually do is I just spray a little bit on. And then let that dry in. And then as we just let it dry in, I guess, oh my hair. As we let it dry in for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute or so and then that's when I will go to the next step. I can start to answer one of your Instagram questions that I received. So the first one was what is your favorite guilty pleasure? My favorite guilty pleasure, it took me a while to think about it actually but I would say that I watch, actually I really love watching reality TV shows so that includes The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, Marriage at First Sight, Love Island and all that. Even though people find it cringy and so lame to watch, I find it quite interesting and there for the for the tea. Especially Marriage at First Sight, that was actually quite really interesting. I would recommend watching Marriage at First Sight for next year. It's coming up in 2020. But yes, that would be my favorite guilty pleasure, which I'm sure a lot of my friends would know anyways, since I posted it on my Instagram. Anyway, as we let this mist dry on my skin, we'll just let it sink in. These days the weather has been pretty bad. It's very foggy and it's very hot as well and it's from the bushfires. So these days it's been not too comfortable going outdoors, especially for those people who have like asthma or can't breathe really well. You can just feel that the air is very dense and I guess it does make me think that sometimes I take the you know, environment for granted and that sometimes we should cherish about what we do in terms of saving the planet. Going to the next step, the next step will be using a primer. So usually I will use the Stila One Step Skin Tone Correcting Primer. So this primer was pretty expensive but I usually use a little bit so basically it helps to get rid of redness, dark spots, I dub the bit on my skin and usually I'll just put it on the redness so the redness that I have is around my around my nose Shit, I probably put a bit too much <laughs> I have some redness on the on the bottom here on the chin and then usually I would just mm, mix it all together, put some on my cheeks because it's a bit red there, and under my eye just to make it a bit more brighter. It's actually quite thin as well, so you don't need a lot, but sometimes I overdo it, which is a bad habit of mine. Usually I would also just put it a bit on my forehead as well, you don't have to put it too much. Just to help brighten my skin, because usually my skin is quite tanned, so... Did that. I don't really have many foundations at the moment, and it's quite expensive to buy from Sephora and all that, so... I just used the foundation that I have from Korea, and those were all lighter foundations than my skin colour. But I don't find it too bad, because it helps to brighten my skin anyways. The foundation that I usually use will be the Double Lasting Foundation. It's a cushion foundation by Etude House. I find it pretty good actually. It's a thick consistency, the mirror as well. So it's quite handy as well. And I think the texture is pretty good. It actually lasts for a long time, long period. 
And through here, I'll just like place like foundation all over my skin because I've become a bit of a perfectionist where I try to make sure that it's like all perfect and all that. However, sometimes when I'm rushed, like how I am usually am, I just quickly just dab it all over my face. So usually I just put like a, like a press once and then just dab it on the face. This definitely helps to like brighten the skin and make it a bit more smooth. I'm on holidays now, so I just finished uni. Actually graduated considering if I pass, but I should pass. These days I've been working like five to six days per week, where, whether it's like, you know, working at my retail job or like interning as well. As I was working for like a uni and all that. So it's been pretty tiring. And then today was like my only day off. So I'm trying to cherish it, especially with the weather that's pretty bad outside. As I continue with the foundation, we can answer another interesting Instagram question that I have been asked. So the second one is... Wait, I need to put on my glasses, I can't see the screen. Do you like Korean makeup or Western makeup more? This is a very interesting question. I would say I like... I don't know, I feel like Korean and Western makeup, they each have their pros and cons. Korean is pretty good in terms of getting like makeup that's really useful and helps to make the skin quite natural as well. The skincare is also really good. In terms of American makeup, I feel like maybe it's a bit more stronger, but it's also quite good. However, it's quite expensive as well. So usually I would tend to buy Korean makeup because it's much more cheap and much more affordable. And I feel like it's also more catered to in terms of the Asian skin tone, where my skin tone is not really that light but it's usually catered more to the asian face and face structure so i feel like it's a good thing in terms of helping me you know decide in terms of what products i should get as we wrap out the foundation process just double making sure to double pat and making sure that there's no more like bad marks definitely i feel like getting like long lasting foundation is very important just so that I don't get oily or cake up that would like later ruin how I look throughout the day now that foundation is done I would usually then put powder all over my face just to make it a bit more matte because I, like I said I do usually get oily quite easily on the t-zone so with the powder that I usually use I usually use the multi finish powder, the peach cotton by Skin Food. This is another Korean makeup. The powder is really good, it helps to set my skin more dry. The scent is really nice as well, it smells like peach. So, what I do is I usually dab a little bit on. Oh, that's a bit too much. Dab a little bit on, and then what then I usually do is I whirl it with a brush. So I tap off the excess because, you know, you just don't want to put too much as well. After I tap off the excess, I will just rub my face. And this helps to kind of like blur your skin more smoothly and helps to prevent myself from getting oilier like later throughout the day. Also do under the eye. Here, the sides where I usually get oily as well. And also the face here, the cheeks, which helps to smoothen my overall skin throughout the day. We'll answer another Instagram question. I'll have to get my glasses again. So how are you? A very broad question, but yeah, I'm doing all right. These days, like I said, it's been quite busy with me because I've been working a lot. And now that I've graduated, I also have to look for full-time jobs and stuff. But at the same time, it's nearly Christmas period, so I want to make the most of it. This festive season, go on a holiday, so lots of exciting adventures to come. As well as 2020 is coming near, so that's pretty nerve-wracking as well. After I put powder on, I usually bring eyebrows. This step is usually the step that I take the longest because I'm a perfectionist. So I'm kind of not looking forward to it, but <laughs> let's do it. The eyebrow pencil that I use is the Innisfree Skinny Brow Pencil. 
brush my hairs first just so that it's on the right direction I would draw like thin lines over my hair just to get the natural look so I'll just do that while I'll answer the next Instagram question so the next question is when is the collab going to happen so this is my friend Kent he has his own YouTube channel which is called Orangey and basically you can do a collaboration anytime I'm always down to now that I'm on holidays I'm always down to collab with anyone so definitely hit me up if you're interested in that but another Instagram question would be do you miss me by Olivia so Olivia was from a Beyonce study abroad she was actually from Hong Kong so yes I definitely miss you quite a lot and we should definitely catch up soon especially because I'm in holidays Tiffany is also in holidays right now so definitely hit us up anytime you come by down here so now I'll just do the eyebrows very quickly usually I'll start with my left side okay Sometimes I consider to get my eyebrows tattooed but sometimes I get too scared because I'm not sure if it looks good like I'm not sure if it looks natural enough so I just did a quick sketch on the left side now I'll just quickly do a quick sketch on the right I wish I got like more eyebrow hair because I don't really have much eyebrow hair so that's an issue Anyway, the next step is not much, but I usually go over my skin with like a blush just to make my face a bit more, like a bit more. <laughs> the blush that I usually use is the Smashbox. So, in the Smashbox, in this last one, ignore that one, I accidentally dropped it on the floor and it cracked, so that's pretty bad. But yeah, I just do it a little bit and then put it over the face. Sometimes I overdo it and sometimes my friends like tell me I work bad. Oh Alex, you do too much. So it's good that I'm putting makeup on under like natural light just so that I can keep myself grounded. Putting blush, cheeks, and then over the nose as well. And then it just like gives you like a natural Yeah, it gives you like a natural flush. Usually, um, I will do either contour or highlight afterwards if I'm bothered, but usually I don't have the time and I'm too lazy. So I will finish it off by a setting spray. Oh damn, I forgot to put sunscreen in there earlier. I would be using the Etude House Surprise Must Daily sunscreen, and this sunscreen is pretty good. Recommended by Edward Avila because it's very thin texture, so it just glides on your skin quite easily. I actually rarely use sunscreen and I always go outdoors so that's really pretty not good for my skin at the moment we'll just answer another Instagram question that I've received as well so the next one was are you uh, okay no but I'll skip this question it's a bit ugh. what is your biggest pet peeve I guess what's my biggest pet peeve one of them would be definitely if someone doesn't have good personal hygiene, they can't look after themselves in terms of cleanliness, whether it's smell or whether it's physical presentation. I guess I can't talk because at times I look like trash out in the public, but I guess that's for me, that's one of my pet peeves, especially when I'm eating with someone else and it could ruin my appetite. That also <laughs> is something that I'm working on. Another Instagram question that I received was so what inspired you to dress the way you are because you look fabulous 24-7 thank you Mel from K-pop idols or Korean actors usually from Instagram I get my inspiration I look at Korean models and all and I usually like the clean look but also something that's a bit more different and edgy I really like my style to be quite unique where it where it aims to be able to stand out from the crowd. That's something that I really enjoy. Stay tuned to check out other videos that I might post, which will be like styling and my fashion tips videos as well. And a last Instagram question. I usually finish off with the makeup. 
is I'll spray this again, the Hangover 3-in-1 by Too Faced. I'll spray it over again to set the makeup so that it lasts long. I put some on my nose, how bad? Anyway, the last one is, what is your go-to face mask? Mm, my go-to face mask would be... Let me get it out, just give me a second. This one, it's the PDF AC Defense Hydro New Gel Mask. This was recommended by my friend Cassandra. I haven't bought like a whole packet in Korea because it was so good. Usually I put on the mask on days that I need to get ready, but mainly for like special events, so like on the night before. And this one is really good. I feel like my skin is a bit more like elastic and a bit more, very much more moisturized. And so basically this is my get ready with me look. Usually I just put a bit of foundation on. Do a bit of eyebrows. Thank you so much for watching my get ready with me video and, and I hope you found it a bit interesting in terms of how I should get ready and how it's usually like. Please stay tuned for the next one.